Now, in keeping with much of our programme today, one young woman making her mark in the male-dominated world of technology is Kenyan Martha Chuma. She's only 19 years old, but she's already got her own business teaching other young Kenyans about computers and coding. She's been chosen as a finalist in the Anzisha Prize. Anzisha means initiative in Kiswahili, and the competition is aimed at self-starters between the ages of 15 and 22 years old. Now, Martha will go on to battle it out with 11 other finalists for a $75,000 prize. My name is Martha Chumo. I'm 20 years old, and I'm the founder and director of the Dev School. We give short courses to young people on technology so we teach young people how to build software then i see this code mt array equals array dot new i got into tech um beginning of 2012 i was an intern at an ngo i was working at a computer and i was very fascinated to see you know how excel works how it thinks so say googling how computers work and i came across programming and how to be a programmer and all these new concepts that were not in my world before i got a few developer jobs um, then last year i decided i needed to improve my skills and i applied to get into hacker school in new york but i wasn't able to go because um, i couldn't qualify for a u.s visa that frustration actually motivated me to bring it to kenya because i was like if i can't go to hacker school hacker school is coming to me that was the back of the dev school. So this team is working on an application that they're calling Tribe Z2. The whole idea is to bring cultural understanding among Kenyans, embracing our cultural diversity. To be able to start the school, I ran an online campaign on a platform called Indiegogo. It's basically a fundraiser using the internet. My campaign was about 30% successful. That wasn't the full amount I was expecting, but that was good enough. I was able to restructure the budget and work with what I had. So it's been one and a half years since the first idea came. You know, I can start the school till now. We've trained more than 150 students, um, which is amazing. And we've actually, in collaboration with the University of Juba and UNESCO, ran a pilot program in South Sudan. Um, which went amazingly well. So I'm very excited about that. And I look at the prospects of actually taking this to other East African countries. Okay. I have ventured into a field that's known to be male-dominated. From an early age, a boy is given a toy kind of electronics, you're given a doll. So most girls are nurtured not to be into technology. But the reality is that technology is for everyone. Just that we are nurtured by society. You know, I'm not expected to code. So there's a lot of work to be done in this field to actually encourage the culture to get into it, encourage other women to even change careers and get into technology. Before we go, let me just remind you about our top stories today here on Focus on Africa.